Okay, in this problem we're given that the area of a circle, O, is 36 pi units. Uh, we want to know what's its diameter. Okay, so again, there's my circle. So recall the area formula for a circle. We use pi multiplied by the radius squared. And again, the radius is just the distance from the center of the circle out to one edge. And also recall that the diameter, the diameter is the distance from one edge of the circle all the way to the other edge. So the diameter is going to be double the radius. It's going to be twice the radius. We take the radius and multiply by 2 to get the diameter. So the idea is we can use this information. We know the area is 36 pi. We can use that to help us solve for the radius, r. And then once we know the radius r, we'll just simply multiply it by 2 to get the diameter. Alrighty, so the area that goes on the left, that's 36 pi. And that equals pi multiplied by r squared. So I'm going to do this algebraically. You can also think what number squared would give me 36. That's ultimately what we're going to do. So I, I want to solve for r. Well, to get rid of the pi, since I'm multiplying by pi, I can divide both sides by pi. So pi divided by pi is just 1. Pi divided by pi is just 1. So now we've got 36 equals r squared. Well, you can think what number squared gives you 36. And again, okay, so I should say what positive number squared gives you 36, right? The radius has to be a, a positive number. And algebraically, the way that we solve that is we just take the square root of both sides. Well, you can put on your calculator the square root of 36, and you'll get 6 equals r. So we know that the radius of our circle is r. So be careful, because 6 is one of the answer choices, right? But they don't ask us what's the, what's the radius. They say, what's the diameter? So now that we know the radius, we can just drop that value into our formula. Again, we double the radius to get the diameter. So the diameter is going to be 2 times 6, this value we just found, which will give us a value of 12. So the diameter of our circle will be 12 units, and that'll be answer choice C.